So a lot of you guys have already seen with the 300 Chrysler wrap and red cherry chrome by Tech wrap that we are officially in a shop. It's not ours. We're sharing the space with Luke's Concepts. I'll leave the information to them down in the description below. They have given us a home for the time being to get ourselves up and running and look a little bit more professional. We were starting the company at our garage, but that deterred a lot of people from going. And we had a lot of call-ups and a lot of people come in. But as soon as we told them where, where we were located, that kind of made them feel a little bit sketchy about the work. So we had to look for a shop much more sooner than we anticipated. We were kind of hoping to be in our garage for at least six months before we moved into a shop and put that much stress on our shoulders to try to make rent and try to make this stuff work out. But thankfully, my brother had a good friend of his hit him up and tell him, yo, why don't you just come through and share the space with us? So at one time we were actually looking for a shop. And then I came here and I was just talking to him. And he's like, that why don't you just come on board here and you can see that I can bring the cars here and wrap it. And if that deal doesn't work out, we were doing with other shop. So I mean we ended up not even going with that deal. We ended up going coming here because it would be a lot cheaper than than having our own shop out to ourselves. And I know this video is a little bit late. We've been in this space for about two months already. You guys saw the Chrysler that was done a month ago. Uh, you guys saw the Mustang. That was the last car we did at our house. And now you guys are going to get a little bit of time lapses here and there before we even start shop vlogs and stuff like that. Showing you guys the day ins and day outs of the shop and what's going on and what we got going on. It's going to be a little bit of a process because we are not fully up and running. We're still trying to get the ball rolling. We got clients coming in, but we don't got enough clients coming in that we're satisfied to continue to put content out. So we just want to focus on getting those guys in and getting them out just so we can get more people spreading word of mouth outside of the streets, letting them know that there's a vinyl shop, a vinyl wrap shop here that's does good work, does quality work. I'm the one that's here most of the time. So my brother has a has his morning job. I ended up quitting my job in the morning to try to do this. Well, not full time because I have a other job in the, at night. So I'm here most of the day. Pretty much y'all only be seeing mostly me, except on the weekends when he's gonna be coming by. Whatever we got going on that that weekend. Yeah, I I felt a lot better if my brother was just here and me not having to quit my job and risk it all and try to make this work because that would be even more stressful. Anyways, at the end of the day, my brother knows a lot more of the vinyl wrap side than I do. And that's kind of what we want to grow. We also do window tint, but that's kind of on a smaller scale. We're not doing that on a big scale and focusing mainly on window tint because we would like to just grow the wrap side of the business. But with that being said, you guys got a nice little backstory. We're gonna go ahead and get off this casting couch and go show you guys the rest of the shop. So let's get to it. All right, so right here we got the lobby. So if y'all guys come and do like a walk-in or something, there's a lobby for here to wait. You got a couch, you got a TV, you can watch whatever you want. And you got two office rooms in there that I'm not gonna show y'all. But pretty big um space. They got a bathroom in here. Bathroom in here. If you want to take a shower you can. And then we just walk over here. We got a little hallway here. I know it's a mess right now, but this is pretty much all of my stuff. All the tools and every all of my rolls of, of vinyl wrap, and then we get over here to the shop. This is um Ty's car. He's gonna wrap finally. Um, this is actually the owner of the shop's car. This is the owner of Lux Concepts. That's his personal vehicle. Um, here's a. Corvette that they wrapped a while back. This one's getting done. This is not our car, but Lux is doing this car. So you got all his stuff over there. As you guys can see, the shop space is pretty decent. 
uh, two shops can work in here comfortably. Compared to us, we're on a much smaller scale to Lux Concepts, the way they have the ball rolling and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. We can end up sharing the space quite nicely because compared to them, they have multiple cars coming in every week. We have a couple of cars coming in here or there every couple of days because we're still in that building process and we're still kind of new to this industry where a lot of people are just wanting to see reputable work before they actually bring in the cars to you and so that's what we got started going on we're slowly picking up compared to how we were a month ago we've seen quite a bit of an increase in customers which is pretty good and that's something we could expect us to continue to grow bigger and better and not and to keep in mind we also started in one of the harder times of the year where a lot of people are spending their money elsewhere for the holidays and stuff like that rather than trying to get stuff done on their car only the real car enthusiasts will be still spending money on their car during the holidays but even then they'll probably end up spending money on parts versus something cosmetic like a wrap but tax season is coming up the government just reopened people are about to get those tax returns so if you got money to spend, head our way. We'll hook y'all up with a full wrap or a couple partial wraps. Whatever you guys decide you want to get, we will get that out for you guys. And maybe we can work out a deal. I'll leave our address down in the description below if you guys want to come through and say what's up to my brother because that's the main guy you're going to find here working and stuff like that. But the shop is still in a remodeling stage. We're trying to get this nice and neat for a couple car meets that we're trying to host for grand openings and stuff like that or or whatever we're going to call it. I'm not even too sure because we've been open for quite a while. But that is it, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this short video. There isn't really much else that we can show you apart from checking the rest of our content on our channel. And hopefully you guys do like it. Hit that subscribe button. Help us reach a thousand subscribers because we are still on the road to a thousand subscribers. So, we're gonna be doing it. You're tripping. But that's gonna be it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah, and if you guys are wondering what happened with the Chrysler 300 outro, that shit got corrupted like always. I have to wait for the boy to pull up that thing to get a couple things on it redone, and then we'll just film the outro of that car and give you guys a nice little walk around because you guys did not get to see it and then you guys could also see how tech rep holds up because it's been about two months since we've done it a lot of people think it might fade a lot of people might think it not last that long but who knows but that's gonna be it guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this video quick little shop vlog I'll see you guys in the next one Deuce. Yeah. My hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching Finally earning something, finally turning something called a profit